The following is for informational purposes only and is not a statement of contract. This is not legal advice, nor should it be taken as such. Bo is not a public adjuster or an attorney, nor does he claim to be, at least to clients. He does claim to be an attorney sometimes to women, but I don't believe that's illegal. It's just sleazy. If you need a roof, call the Roof Group. Hey guys, Bo Taylor here with the Roof Group Contracting, Consulting, and Cool Looking. I just added that one. That one's not official. It's just probably should be though. Here we got this wood shake section of this commercial building that we are doing to remove the bottom row. It's a cover of metal uh, on some parts of their fascia. We would have to remove the bottom row of these. And as you can see, they are non-repairable. We're trying to do a repair around this. And so it's just to remind everyone if a pre-existing vulnerability is made worse by a covered peril, then that is included uh, unless specifically excluded on the declarations page. Always remember that. And another fun fact is just to get to understand the idea of proximate causation or proximate cause, which is a very important term for you to read up and start to understand if you're in this industry, if you're a homeowner with a property claim. But the basic idea of it is in an unbroken chain of events, everything that has to be done to return the customer to pre-loss condition is covered under the policy unless specifically excluded. Meaning the idea of if a contractor, a plumber, you have a leak in your house, a plumber comes, he figures out where the leak is in the wall, he cuts a hole, in the drywall, fixes the pipe, and all of a sudden your leak's gone. Well, cutting through the drywall to get access to the pipe is also covered. You don't send a bill to the homeowner for cutting through the drywall. It's because it's assumed that the contractor needs reasonable access to perform all repairs that are needed to return the property to pre-loss condition. And so when an insurance company says they don't pay for rotten decking, they're correct, but they pay for it because of access. You need access to a hard, nailable surface in order to meet the manufacturer's specifications, which are built in to building code. And a good thing to remember, I hope it makes you a lot of money and proximate cause, but for then. People used to always say to me, I'm like, oh, what's proximate cause as I was trying to learn? They'd always be like, oh, it's a but for then, but for then. And I'd be like. And then I'd walk away going, what are they talking about? Well, that's what they're talking about. But for the burst pipe, but for the burst pipe, then the drywall would not have been cut open. So the drywall is now included and that applies to roofs, or at least I hope it does, cause I've been doing it wrong if it doesn't. If it was nothing more than just that I look good in a pair of sunglasses, I hope that you took something away from this video of this bizarre commercial building that they are going to redo and come out with a tire shop. You guys are gonna love it here at Ponca City Tire and Rim. I don't know what they're called to be honest, but it used to be Cobb's Buffet before the mighty hailstorm knocked them out of business and nothing else. Don't let that adjuster get your mind all warped thinking it was covid it was the hailstorm the hailstorm the hailstorm the hailstorm it was the hail moments later bo was struck by lightning from a hailstorm and died instantly i take that back a quick glance at his medical records show he suffered in pain for another 12 minutes